Hey, what's up, y'all? I'm Emil, and it's Junior back here with Clever News. And while many of our favorite stars got their start on Disney, they've also come a long way since then, and they don't want to be thought of as child stars anymore. So let's break down the stars who broke that Mickey Mouse mold. So Zendaya first shot to Disney fame back in 2010 when her show Shake It Up premiered. And while we all fell in love with Z on the Disney Channel, she's actually become an extremely well-respected actress since then. During Variety's Actors on Actors series earlier this month, she said she'll always be proud of being a Disney kid. You surely can't think of yourself as a like the Disney kid now. I mean, you surely <laughs> well, can't. I, you, can't. <laughs> you know, the thing is, is I am, and I'm, and, and to a degree, like I am grateful for that. You know, that's that's where I started, and I and I learned so much from that experience. But despite appreciating her time on Disney, Zendaya has gotten real about how some people still just think of her as a child actor. As she's gotten older, she's branched out into roles like Rue on Euphoria, which earned her a history-making Emmy Award, and her latest role, Marie, in the Netflix film Malcolm and Marie. Recently, Zendaya and her Malcolm and Marie co-star faced criticism for their 12-year age difference, and Zendaya blamed it on people still thinking of her as a Disney kid. She made it clear that she's not a child or child star anymore, and will play more mature roles as she continues to get older. People often forget, which is understandable, because I've been playing 16 since I was 16, you know? I am grown. And and I knew that as I grow and as I evolve that, you know, there would be that moment where I could play some of my own age. And Zendaya isn't the only former Disney star who struggled to break free from the Disney mold. Cole Sprouse actually spoke to Variety in 2019 about how he wasn't sure if he'd return to acting after having success as a Disney star. After he graduated from college, Cole told the outlet that he got an entry-level job at a small laboratory where he was bagging artifacts. And while he appreciated his time on Disney, being put in that mold actually was part of what turned Cole off from continuing to pursue acting at first. He told Entertainment Weekly that there was, quote, a feeling of machination, I felt like an automaton. But he did add that he's grateful for the experience, it allowed him to pay for his own education, and now when he acts, it's his decision, no one else's. Cole said, quote, I'm not saying that we didn't enjoy that time, but it was work. It's a career and a business. And it got me to college, which is one of the most fantastic gifts I could have been given, but I'm glad to be acting on my own accord now. And speaking of acting on his own accord, in his Variety interview, Cole recalled Riverdale being his first audition since taking time off of acting to go to college. He said, if I don't book anything, then I'm not going to do this anymore. Well, we all know what happened with the Riverdale audition. He landed the role and he said that the show has helped him renew his appreciation for acting. And in case you're wondering if Cole and his brother Dylan would ever consider doing a Sweet Life of Zack and Cody reboot, he answered that very clearly on his recent appearance on Drew Barrymore's talk show. I'm asked all the time if Dylan and I are going to do a Sweet Life reboot, and I go, no, absolutely not. Now, while Cole and Dylan won't be doing a reboot, Miley Cyrus actually told Capital FM last summer that she still has her Hannah Montana wig and puts it on all the time. But similar to Zendaya and Cole, Miley struggled with her former Disney star identity for a while after Hannah Montana ended. In 2019, she told Elle that there was even a time towards the end of her Hannah Montana run that she felt ridiculous putting on the wig. She said, quote, one time I went backstage at Disneyland and Peter Pan was smoking a cigarette and I was like, that's me. That's the kind of dreams I'm crushing. That's how everyone felt with my bong video. But I'm not a Disney mascot, I'm a person. And now years later, Miley can look back on her Disney days more fondly. She told Insider, quote, now I can be proud of all the Miley's that I've ever been in instead of trying to run away from the 11 year old one or feel like I'm not Hannah Montana. I am stoked that that was part of my life. And Miley has gone on to have other acting roles like in Black Mirror, and I don't need to catch you up on her extremely impressive music career. She's been nominated for multiple Grammys, she's topped the charts, and Rolling Stone called her latest album Plastic Hearts her most self-assured record yet. We've really seen Miley go from Hannah Montana to one of the most well-known artists in the world. So, while it's not easy to always break out of the child star mold, Zendaya, Cole, and Miley are proof that it can happen and they can be well respected in their industry. And even if they never have to stop proving themselves, they're all talented enough to do it. But for more on Zendaya, you can click right over here for another Clever News video, and then let us know what other Disney stars you've enjoyed see grow up down in the comment section below. I'm your host, Emil Ennis Jr. You can find me on Instagram at Emil Ennis Jr. And I'll see you soon right back here on Clever News. Bye, y'all.